and with our focus on rising sea temperatures yet another example of the effects of climate change on our planet and its impact is the most noticeable on the earth's poles the amount of sea ice around antarctica is now at the lowest levels ever recorded at the end of june According to UK's Met Office, the current Antarctic sea ice extent is more than 1.3 million square kilometers, less than the next lowest amount for this time of the year, and this shortfall is more than five times the surface area of the UK. Experts from the Met Office say Antarctic sea ice extent reaches a maximum around the end of September and a minimum around the end of February. So at the end of June, the extent of sea ice should be building up to a midpoint between the maximum and the minimum. But this year, the ice is expanding very slowly, resulting in the extent that is way below the long-term average. And this marks the second significant record low for Antarctic ice over the years. In February too, the annual maximum extent was the lowest since satellite records began in 1979. Researchers around the world are trying to understand why the extent of Antarctic sea ice isn't at the rate that it should be. Scientists believe that El Nino is cyclical a phenomenon which warms the tropical eastern pattern ocean and affects air temperatures worldwide as well as anomalous atmospheric circulation patterns around Antarctica. Those could be preventing the sea ice from recovering as much as it usually does in winter. Experts say though there is still time this season for the ice to recover but given the record lows concerns do remain about the likelihood of a record low winter maximum. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.